Having a little struggle oh, through that. Oh, big down goes Pike. Oh, and he is not happy about Freezy at all. Tell us the story. What's the background? Car 29. Was he the innocent party? Coming out and it's going to get in the center of the car. Fiberglass is tearing away from the 29 of Grant Thompson here. It lands back down. So that tells the story. Let's have a little look at this. The 23 leading. Bit of opposite lock on the way out of the corner. Trips up on that curb on the exit, which spins him hard driver's right. Thompson doing nothing wrong there. Just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. In the rear, and then it's tripped over in the dirt. So my apologies. I read the 23 there off that car that had rolled. and incorrectly said it was Bloxham at the wheel, but it wasn't. It was Thompson. So... Regardless of who's at the wheel of either of those cars, great to see both guys are okay out of that. Suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream and that you could for example have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time or any length of time you wanted to have then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream and finally you would dream where you are now Let's have a look again at what unfolded. Liam McAdam in the background. He got a tag from Zach Scalpo. So that's where the damage came from the Scalpo that's ended up with his car catching on fire. And then the rest of these guys have nowhere to go. There's just no chance. It's a blind corner. And even if there's yellow flags out quickly, they're already there. That's right. You're already committed to the corner. There's not much you can do at this point. It's, it's ah, really and we're on board with Jonathan Webb there. That's what's unfolded. So he saw all of it. Jimmy Vernon's third, but half the field stuck halfway around the lap. Yes, and this car is uh, definitely having an exciting finish. Well, well, that's that's keen to get back to take the finish. There's, a fiery There's there. fire extinguishers right there on pit wall, Great. so they'll be there to help that car. In just a moment, Zach Lascalpo will bail out of it. He's made it across the line, and they need to get onto that quickly because that's starting to take a hold. A dramatic way to finish race 13. We've had title contenders wiped out. We've had a last lap accident. We had a safety car in the middle of the race. And unfortunately now... Trucks race number one here at Barbagello. No time to settle in. It's go time here for 14 laps of the competition caution on lap number seven. Running on the short course here for the second year at Barbagello. So Nolan leads us through the first round. He'll find us back to second place now and watch the back.
course, Paul Morris just driving down the inside, elbows up in defending Speed Energy Stadium Super Truck Series champion. Look at that, Bill Hyde says, get out of the way, Nolan, I'm not waiting for you anymore. Nolan gets bumped real wide there, Hines, he throws the elbows up, swaps some paint, says, step aside, son, I'm moving through. Nope. Stop, stop, stop. 